All right, I want to watch this video. The Fuji Tube drama gets deeper. Why was the, why was he on his knees in the thumbnail? So last week we talked about this guy named Fuji Tube. He is an OG YouTuber who has come back time and time again, okay. and really been given more second chances than almost <laughs> anyone we've ever seen on the internet. Now there have been a lot of different arcs in Fuji Tube's career. It had actually been a couple of years since he was last. Yo, I remember this arc, chat. Yo, this inspired me to lose so much weight because. I remember when he got bigger and then he did like this, like, I think it was like a 90 day weight loss video. And you know, when you work out, if you worked out before, like you put your muscle on pretty quickly, like you put it back pretty quickly, bro, this nigga had one of the craziest transformations at the time. Like I've literally ever seen. I was like, bro, if he can do it, bro, I can do it. And it, bro, I locked the f in, dog. It's relevant. And I would I say that. for at least the last six or seven years <laughs> or so. The only time people are ever willing to talk about him is when he's doing something really outlandish. I would say when he's more or less self-destructing, that's when he enters the news cycle. And with these recent stories, it was really more the same. We talked about his foolish actions on the highway. We talked about his downfall at the airport. How he had gotten banned from Twitch after live streaming for over a month straight. And last week Damn. I said this was looking like a career ender, but now it seems like his bad behavior has been rewarded, and he has been offered. Behavior <laughs> has been rewarded. <laughs> hey Chad, have you ever felt like this before? You was just in a bad mood, and you bumped into some shit on by accident, and you, you about to square up with the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and he has been offered some sort of contract from alternative streaming platform <laughs> Kick. Regardless, Fousey has continued to live stream, and he's been doing anything and everything to try and create these viral clips. And boy, do I have some crazy stuff to show Yo, you guys today. Bitches, First, I thought this clip was very telling from when he went on Bradley Martin's podcast. I treat these women with nothing but respect. Usually guys are in there drunk, do this, do that, take off your clothes. I don't do none of that. Well, how do you know that? Huh? I tell you, how do you know? Yeah, that? I talk to these women. Because mm. I so fast, I have time to talk to them. And what the fuck? Yo, over a share of the century, nigga. What did, like, nigga, at least rap about it so we think you're lying. What the, the fuck? The women that he's talking about in this video are all these different escorts that he had hired over the years. Essentially saying, oh, I'm so different from all the what? other pervs because I go out of my way to treat these women with the slightest bit of humanity. It was basically the same act that he pulled at the airport where he said he was an advocate for these victims. And then literally five minutes after this woman tells him her story with being taken advantage in that way, okay, he crazy. takes it to the airport bathroom and bangs her out. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that I'm amazed by the mental gymnastics this man will perform yeah. to justify his f***ed up <laughs> behavior. And I'm sure you guys remember how he was acting like an idiot out on the highway. And apparently the end of that clip where he pretends to crash his vehicle and pass out is what actually got him banned from... T okay, this clip is insane. And I think this one actually is him not knowing TOS. Which, you know, you should try and learn. But at the end of the day, when you're new to a platform, I get it. He's in a Tesla, bro. You feel me? Uh, them bitches drive themselves, all right? It is the safest car on the planet and by a large margin. Like, if this was done in, like, a different car, I could see it, but he was basically playing Stan and, like, reenacting the part where Stan flies off the edge with the woman in the trunk. We know that song, right? The phone in the hand alone will get you packed, but reenacting, driving off a cliff while you, like, fake sleep, but you're actually not looking at the road, is 100% gonna get you packed. <laughs> Play with the video. He's Twitch. not playing it in this video. And I also found this clip from after his little incident at the airport. Nigga, if it's TOS on his shit, why do you think I could? Can you? If you react to it, because I'm not doing nothing dangerous. Is that chat? Is that TOS? Hold on, now let's really get into the nitty gritty. Is that is it? Is it TOS? Or that? We should be straight, right? <clears throat> I thought he was gonna be playing the videos. This nigga's just talking us through them. Hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your auntie, hide your grandma. Hide your sister. Ain't nobody safe when the Rizzler is around. I know this man did not just say, hide your kids. Ain't no one safe when the Rizzler is around. Are you going to go to some sort of playground and activate the Riz? I mean, what's really going on here, Fousey? The Rizzly bear. Hide everybody. 
Not kids. I never said kids. I never. I never said kids. Wait, hold on. Is this nigga fucking streaming on the plane? <laughs> How is that even possible? Like, actually, when I get on the plane, I have zero bars on everything. Where is this nigga at where his plane has connection? You have to wait till the plane takes off and you connect to Wi-Fi. They be having, like, counter UAVs on the tarmac. Hide your kids, hide your auntie, hide your grandma, hide your... And this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting as he gets into it with Keemstar, of all people, who has, over the last couple of years, been his more or less business partner. Over Drama Alert's coverage of this whole situation, especially with that woman at the airport. Keem, because what you're doing right now, you're trying to make it seem like I'm having a manic episode. No, no, not, no, not. Why are you accusing me of that? That's not a lot of No, no, not. You tweeted it today, you dumb... Are you talking in this moment? My or are you well. talking in this moment, in this space? Am I trying to make people think you're having a manic episode? Or you are tweeted you it today. I feel like you're having a manic episode, and part of me feels like you are. I've been concerned about it ever since you started doing these 24/7 live streams. That's why I've been calling you and texting you, and concerned and concerned about the people in your life that are going to take advantage of you in this. And the Bro. second something happens, before even talking to your brother, you go online and you get everybody to think that I got banned for woman. Well, I mean, I don't know why that's such a big deal. I think the bigger deal was that you did that. Oh, shuffle! Sure, I did not see this before. Why did Keem just glaze over that? What? Woman? Well, I mean, I don't know why that's such a big deal. I think the bigger deal was that you did that girl. You're a woman. You Nobody said that. How do you know Who said that? Who? You're manipulating right now. Nobody said you anyone. In fact, I'm on record saying FouseyTube had did absolutely no crimes. On my mom's goddamn life, I didn't woman. You told, but then you lied to me. I don't know. I talked to you for one minute, and I go, why is everyone hitting me up saying that Fousey's going crazy and this and that? Because I'm getting hit up by fans and YouTubers. And you say to me, listen, Keem, I'm just playing the July 15th character. I'm good. And by the way, Keem, I just go in the bathroom. And so essentially, Fousey continues to have a down over his very own actions, over a situation that he created for himself. And he's now taken this new position after bragging about joining the Mile High Club in the airport bathroom that he did not have relations not with that woman <laughs> and so obviously at this point Fousey is very upset with Keemstar <laughs> what came up to ask him about the situation he had an absolute breakdown so I just wanted to ask you sir you know we all seem like what well, went down with Keemstar having much promotion what's gonna happen are you guys ever gonna be homies again or we actually resolved it today and I'm gonna tell you something you had the chance to interview Fousey too you could have asked me for life-changing advice I how do I get out of depression how do I do this that's you exactly chose to ask me I about drama. No. This is gonna go viral yeah, for either way, but this interview's over. Have a good really? day. No, the rest. I, no, I wanted to keep asking. Go home. I go down. Home. There's no way you're, you're not G7. Here. Go home. And you see how this guy goes so quickly from being this fake, Whoa. humble creator trying to be relatable, basically trying to be a soft. Hey, hey, I'm doing that to y'all niggas next time you ask me a dumbass question in real life. Next time a nigga ask me a dumbass question, uh, AJ, 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 fan of text. I'll be like, yo, bro, you had the chance to ask me any question ever in the world, bro. You could have asked me how to take 300 multiplied to 30 million thousand, but instead you asked me this dumbass shit. Man, fuck out of here, nigga. This interview's done. I'm on that timing. Yes, yes, FootyTube. We learned a lesson here today. Up story. <clears throat> to once he gets a little bit of money and gets a little bit of clout, he sees himself as this all-important figure. Like he's Jay-Z or some, you know, basic- On everything, when a nigga asks me a dumbass question in real life, I just pretend like the dumbass question wasn't asked. So if he said something before the dumbass question, I'll pretend like I didn't hear the question. Almost like to confuse him whether or not he even asked the dumbass question. So he could be like, yo, agent, I fuck with your videos and shit like that. What's your address to your house? And I'll be like, oh, I appreciate the love, bro. And I just like, and he'll be like, did I say this? I can make him second guess himself. Basically successful businessman and that he was going to get. Like some niggas actually ask me, no funny shit. Some niggas actually ask me, bro, invite me to the A&P house. What? Just like randomly? You, you mean like not stream that day and just host you? What are we going to do? Me and you. You want the tour? Like, after that, what are we going to do after I give you the tour? Are you going to fly there? Like, how is this going to work? Why did you ask me that? It's a dumbass question, so I'm going to pretend like you didn't say that to me. And whatever you said before it, I'm responding to that. Simple. Give this kid some sort of life-changing advice. Like, Fuck at this man. point, he's really nothing more than a glorified <laughs> train wreck that people like to view for their sick Shut pleasure. Up, and so the result of that confrontation is basically that he went around Las Vegas acting like an absolute maniac. What? Okay, somebody leave me. Let's 
happening right now? This guy's trying to go viral off my name. Get the f away! Oh my god. I mean, you should have stepped in and protected me. What the f He's trying to go viral off my name. He's asking me about July 15th and Keem. What the f Nobody does shit, man. You gotta help protect my image. I'm bad. I'm like Kanye. I lose my mind. I need people around me to protect my image. You see how quickly this guy turns to, oh, I'm like Kanye. I'm like Drake. I'm like X person that I put on this high of a pedestal. To me, it's honestly just very strange behavior. Like anyone who compares themselves to some person they see as like an almighty figure. I just personally feel like that is a sheer fire sign. That <laughs> Fuzzy, you are not like Kanye, okay? <laughs> Kanye gave the world two decades of some of the best music we have ever seen, nigga. So, and then he also went into fashion realm and made billions over there. It's different levels to this shit. It's just not even like a fair comparison, bro. That's not fair. Fuzzy Tube is like a YouTube legend. Facts he is like in the fake prank genre. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like he dominated that. And I, I again, I never, I never seen nothing wrong with fake pranks unless like there's weird malicious intent there. Like he dominated the whole prank genre for dumb long, bro. So like, like he, yeah, Fousey's more like Fetty Wap. That's a good way to put it. And we respect Fetty Wap, honestly. I feel like Fetty Wap had like a good career. He kind of got fucked. Um, I watched the video on how he got fucked recently, uh, but like. Yeah, and that's not even, like, a, an insult. Like, you know who's, like, Kanye? Like, I don't know. Like, the guys who are, like, the tippity top. And there's levels to this shit, you feel me? But, like, you just have to be really self-aware about where you're at and shit like that. Self-awareness goes a long way. That someone might be a bit of... What did I say? What did I say? Wait, why niggas question marking? What did I say? He got fucked. Oh, this my this way I speak. Yeah, that's normal. Of a sociopath. <laughs> like Fousey, take a trip to a massage parlor, my guy. You're not you when you're horny. How the f do you guys not understand that? I have mental problems. I need help. I thought you left to get the arts portal. No, you guys <laughs> Fuck all of you. Yusuf! Whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do that? What What is he gonna do on the road? And I did see a lot of people in the comments of the video. I and so this is the current state of society that we live in, where someone like this gets rewarded for acting like a clown. And I did see a lot of people in the comments of the video I made about oh, this Marvel. situation last week, talking about how Fousey was winning and how he was this amazing guy because he's making all this money. And to me, it's almost like someone with his temperament, who has obviously shown time and time again that he cannot handle fame nor wealth. Like, I actually think it's a negative thing for him to get his hands on those things. Because as we've seen time and time again, yeah. just as he does, is when he starts to get this massive ego, I mean, it's totally out of control. And that's when this guy just goes and f***s his whole life. I also found this to be hilarious. This man actually got exposed by his very own therapist after he was trying to claim that nothing went down in that airport bathroom. She accidentally told his dirty little secret. Nah, your therapist leaking, that's insane. That's... That's actually nuts. Oh, you know, a friend of mine tried to say today that I wasn't sober. It was so hurtful. You, you, you've been sober until that uh, thing in the airport. I know that. <laughs> right? Love you, Susie. Yeah, I love you. Bye. So she says you've been sober since that day in the airport. Hold on, wait. Y'all niggas tell y'all therapists you love them? Whoa, whoa, let's pump the brakes. Hold on, this is a fascinating development. Y'all niggas love y'all therapists? What the fuck is going on? Alluding to the idea that he obviously did something with that woman. People also posted up these pictures after he said, I did not touch her. And uh, yeah, they look pretty handsy there. Look pretty comfortable. And this is actually how he opened up his very first kick stream. I started YouTube March 25th of 2011. Every YouTuber that started with me died 10 times over. They now work a regular job. Good for them. Make a living. It's 2023 and I'm still here and I just signed a deal with kick and I'm about to take the f All right, bro. All right, bro. Come on, your ego. This is this is this a nasty ego right here. This guy, he gripping that bitch. Fuck. God damn, nigga. Oh, hand on that motherfucking chat like 
Just, just straight hand on that bitch. What the fuck? Was this at the airport? Obviously did something with that woman. People also posted up these pictures after he said, I did not touch her. And uh, yeah, they look pretty handsy there. Look pretty comfortable. And this is actually how he opened up his very first kick stream. Started YouTube. Okay, now nah, this is the ego of death on everything, bro, chat. If my ego ever gets like this, please shut me down, bro. Please, a tell me, Agent, go take a break for three weeks, bro. Agent, go take a break for three weeks. This is insane. This level of ego, bro, like, your friends can't stop you. Nobody, you're the only one who can stop you, bro, when you get to this point. This is nuts. Your ego is more than this, really. Really, you think so? Ooh, <laughs> shut the fuck up, 25th nigga. of 2011. Every YouTuber that started with me died 10 times over. Crazy. They now work a regular job. Good for them. Make a living. It's 2023 and I'm still here and I just signed a deal with Kick. And I'm about to take the f*** over. The cameras never turn off. I show you everything. Even when I'm in the heat of drama and the internet's trying to cancel me. I'm live. So you see that I don't script shit. I don't fake shit and everything. <sighs> okay, that's a little ironic given his past. But okay, look, okay, ironic. He's faked so many videos in his life. Oh God, that irony, <laughs> holy camoly. Okay, all right, aside from the irony that he was literally the main guy faking videos in 2016. First of all, everyone that blew up around the time that he blew up is not working regular jobs also. And if they were, it doesn't really matter. That's not a flex to not work a regular job, right? Let's start there. Second of all, like the lack of humility, like Fusi, bro, like real shit. Cause like when I first saw him streaming his stuff with Don, I was like, good. I was watching him do, you know, when I got put on is when he did a hot tub stream with Nadia. And I was like, I was watching a hot tub stream a little bit because I follow Nadia. So I'm like, Nadia's doing a fucking stream at Fousey. What Fousey streams? And that's when I got tapped in, you feel me? Um, but anyway, bro, as quickly as you have something that could be taken away from you. This nigga said in a podcast he had no money before this subathon. So the same fall off he described to everybody else that grew up. You watch Nadia? Yeah, ever since I played Call of Duty with her, I follow her. I be watching her shit from time to time. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, bro. It's just a severe lack of humility. It's weird. I don't know. This is this is a bad energy right here. I'm not gonna lie. It's Things real. Energy. Do you think it's fair for me to be a just <laughs> wall? You're gonna use that word? Following Nadia, you horny, bro? I f I follow her for her Call of Duty stuff. So, bro, why does that make me horny? Like, what? Like, actually, why would that make me horny? I used to watch her Call of Duty shit when everyone was on harassed about like aimbot and shit like that. I thought it was hilarious. So I would sneak in there and do my own analysis. Dead ass. We, we, we did a couple, we played Call of Duty with her a couple times back in that era. Does she still play COD? Really? Yeah, that's emotional. Sure you did. Okay, I don't know. Alright, this conversation is done as well. I wanna no. Hold on, hold on, let me hear this. Live. So you see that I don't script shit, I don't fake shit, and everything's real. Do you think it's fair for me to be a just while you're gonna use that word? Really? Yeah, that's emotionally. All right, this conversation is done as well. I wanna no, work here's the out. difference. I'm here here's the difference. You. I'm not saying you can go with actually wanting me to stay. I'm saying you can go because I want you to f out. That's why. It's not why me being I want to no, be here. No. And so basically, the self destruct. Wait, is this this nigga's hotel room? What in the what in the presidential suite? Where is he at right now? Whose room is this? There's no way he was broke a month and a half ago in this is room right now. Red Rock? <laughs> this room is tough, nigga. Yo, these type of rooms go for like, nigga, 5K plus a nice. <laughs> That's tight. Kick money? Damn. If cycle continues, it's just like last time with the whole July 15th thing. He starts treating the people around him like shit. And we're really almost to the end game here where this guy That's crashes crazy. and loses absolutely everything. Disappears from the internet for, you know, maybe a couple years. And then what, is he <laughs> going to try to come back at like the age of 40? He also got kicked out of the Las Vegas hotel that he was staying I've in. I've seen a little bit of this. F*** you and your hotel, dog. F*** you and your hotel. They're kicking us out. So disrespectful. Why I said, punch out? me right now. I'll record you. Punch me. What you going to do? What you going to do? Eight security? I don't listen. I was paying my bill, dog. Y'all were disrespectful as shit. Y'all were disrespectful as shit. And I think what a lot of these live streamers don't realize, especially when it comes to going to a place like Vegas, is that there's all kinds of people walking around who are much more wealthy than them. It's not like they have to cater to you hand and foot and put up with all this bull. Nah, it's rich niggas in Vegas, bruh. 
Nah, it's rich niggas in Vegas. You think you got it. You go to Vegas and niggas actually got it in Vegas, bro. There's some actual wealth in Vegas. Dead ass, bro. Dead ass. Oh shit, all this attention you're trying to garner just because you're actually giving like them ass. money. Every and you see, guys, like this ass, is bro. the correct yeah. way to respond when Fousey is trying to give you this life-changing advice. Hey, you have one chance. Anything you want to ask me in life for advice on, ask me. I'm sure, bro. Have a good one. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, he. Oh, my goodness. The clip of death. Wow. Fuck me, dude. That is insane. Do they know each other? What is the context behind this? Ask me in life for advice on. Ask me. I'm straight, bro. Have a good one. <laughs> He's so salty. Hey, your girl wanted a picture with me. Yeah, if your girl requests a picture with FouseyTube, if she saw him out in public, it might be time to reconsider your life choices. Just a little bonus clip for you guys. Come on, that's con. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Just take the L. Take the L, bruh. That was an ego L right there. That was the ego L. Just take it. Just take it and then move on, bro. Don't, don't make it worse, bro. A little blast I've from the past. Clip. On everything, I actually died laughing earlier today when I see this clip. Oh my God, this is one of the, if you haven't seen this clip before, it is one of the funniest clips you will ever see, bro. It's peak. It's actually peak, bro. Why, this, I'm already warning you, okay? I'm letting you know because I pre this. Long time, I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no, that, like that. <laughs> <But> like, <laughs> I know that gas was edited in, but all everything it made the whole clip better, bro. I swear it made the whole clip better. That is, this is one of the funniest things I've probably seen all year. I keep it a buck, bro. I actually keep it a buck. This is an old clip, though, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, I don't see all of this ending very well for Fousey. <laughs> He's just really not someone that can handle money. He's not someone that can handle fame. His ego is obviously oh, out of control at this point. And no matter how many times he tries to convince himself that he's okay. a good person or tries to blame his mental health the for all the, the, the things board. that he does, Ooh, I think that we all really know the truth. I mean, he's shown his true character time and that's time calm. again over the last decade. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this latest Fousey update down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Okay, look, Fousey. All right. <clears throat> bro, catch yourself, bro. All right, you're spiraling from the looks of it. From the outside looking in, it's what it looks like. All right, we not in your life. We can't see everything. Bro, it looks like you are spiraling right now. And you know that when you say and do crazier shit, it gets more attention and it gets more clips and people are tuning in more and you're getting more attention. But that is not the attention you want. That attention is going to eat away at you, bro. I'm telling you right now, I know the subathon is good. You just locked in a big ass deal and shit like that. But, bro, please, bro, take care of your mental. Because even though watching some of these clips is really, really funny... You also have, I have so much empathy because I know that streaming isn't easy and having millions of people give their opinions and thoughts on you isn't easy. So coming from a place of empathy, I hope that you are doing the things necessary, meditating, praying. I seen you praying on your subathon, which is good. Like you got your therapist, bro, but your team is not responsible for your actions. Like I, it's a couple clips I seen where you was blaming your assistant or whatever for some shit you did, bro. You had to hold yourself accountable, but then like, Dog, like you gotta catch yourself, dog. This spiral looks crazy. And what I hope doesn't happen is it's another big explosion and like last time, and then we don't hear or see from you for three years. So please did bro, whatever God wills to be shall be. Simple as that. There's no point in fearing what can happen if you leave the internet. Like you did leave the internet for a while and now you're back on. You feel me? But sacrificing everything, your peace and your mental for internet attention will never be worth it. This is impossible. There is a safe and healthy way to do it. And I see you clickbait a lot. The clickbait is cool when it's funny. 
But one, you got to learn the TOS of the platforms you're on. But then two, you can't be a dickhead to everybody around you, bro. It makes you look crazy. Right now, it looks like your ego has completely taken over. I saw on your stream, you said you was the biggest thing on the internet. You're not even close, bro. There's severe levels to this shit. And the self-awareness would have taught you. You were just being talked about for some of the breakdowns you've been having. But don't take that as a victory because some of those things you shouldn't even want to share with the internet. You feel me? When a month, like a few weeks ago when I argued with Phantom, that's not something I was proud that a lot of people saw. I was like, that's embarrassing. It doesn't matter how many people saw it or how many people were talking about it. Like, you should never be on the internet making, bro, there's some things that just shouldn't be shared. And that was shared. And it, no one could have known that's the way it was going to go, but that's the way it went. And then you make up because you're friends. But like, you're you're spiraling, and I'm saying don't trade your peace for attention. It's not worth it. Simple as that. Uh, that's my advice, at least. But I don't know what's going on in his actual life. It's just what it looks like from the outside looking in. I hope for this nigga's success, bro. 